burger for dinner. I have nine I'm going to show you how my husband does <laughs> <laughs> that my husband Okay? How do you get that? Hmm? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna show you how the Eiffel East Way makes burger. Here's Paul and he's gonna show you. You really want the flavor of the meat to come out. You don't want to over season it. Beef has its own distinct flavor and it's delicious. So I made these patties really big. <clears throat> really, really big. This was actually two pounds and a half of beef. I got basically uh, probably a little more than a third uh, and a half, whatever, almost a half pound each patty here and a little bit left over. So each of these burgers are about half pounder. This one's probably more like what you're used to seeing, uh, less than a quarter pound, typical burger. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of season there. I put salt and pepper, gonna put a little garlic. Garlic uh, salt. Garlic salt, because that's what we like. And um, this one here. I'm gonna throw it into the, uh, into the broiler and then throw some cheese on it after we flip it. Are we grilling this? Oh no, we don't have gas. <laughs> gonna put it on the broiler. We're just gonna. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put it on a broiler. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought we we're not gonna fry it. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna broil it like the broiler steak. I'm gonna put it close to the broil, closer to the broiler, so it gets the heat. Heat. It's a little bit. Don't worry, guys, we're gonna get a new. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, so that's how you put it to broiler. You have to put it on the top rack. And we'll be back <laughs> in about five. All right. For the burger, this is Gio eating tortang palong with tomato, and he loves it. And a little bit of laver. He's a lover, 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 lover. And here's Lady waiting for some crumbs from Gio. These two are, they're teaming up. <laughs> wow, look at that. I'm gonna let him cook a little bit longer. Aren't you gonna? No. Nah. You only flip them once. Let them get a little bit crispier on the top, and then we'll flip them once, and it'll be medium rare. Lettuce, onion, and tomatoes, and these are American cheese. Made your grill meal. Wow, this is medium rare. Uh, rare. Uh, it's just ready to flip. It's not medium rare. It's, okay. It's, it's rare, raw on the bottom. Right? Oh, okay. And then still has to go back in. See how big those babies For are. how long? Another five minutes? Yes. Yeah, like and what's the temperature here? Broil. Oh, just broil? Yeah, high broil. High broil. Okie dokie. Yummy. They should be raw on the bottom for the most part. Broiling is cooking from the top. That's the difference in a broiler. And the oven is baking, typically from the bottom. Nice. Unless you have a convection. So you guys, this is my mentor for cooking here. <laughs> I taught her burger cooking all the way from Georgia to Singapore, where we implemented the process real, real time. <laughs> Going back in. Now put those in for about five minutes. Check them and throw some cheese oh. on top. Why? Why are it's like half open? Yep, because the burner will stay on. 
all the time. If you, you don't want a broiler to close because that way um, it'll shut off. You want the direct flame heat on the meat. That's what broiling does. Okay, we'll be Take back. it from the master of the burgers. We'll be back to put on some cheese well, in, in, this a, in house. a few minutes. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's see. We're ready to put our cheese and it's important to note that the, oh, this is the, last the meat one. will continue to cook even though it's not under the burner. It's hot, so there'll be some time <clears throat> that it'll more or less coast in cooking. So we're just going to throw some cheese on top of it. And for these size burgers, you typically use a whole slice of cheese. <laughs> That's my baby bag. <laughs> so the baby one, this, you'll this have is, to fold it. This little one here is mine. Yes. And there's four jumbos. <laughs> four of my boys. That's the maximum. Now, since that we're talking about broiling here, I think we're going to... I'm going to lower it just a little bit because the cheese, I'm going to take it down. Oh. <gasps> Careful, booba. Use two hands. I'm going to take it down to one. Okay. A little glitch there. It's all right. Oops. We have two. Unmatched. Because you don't want the cheese to be right up against the Mid flame. You want it to cook and melt a little bit. So I'm gonna put it there, let it cook for another few minutes. There. The burger, beep, beep. So, <laughs> she's got burned. <laughs> but it tastes good. Yeah. Mm. We're not gonna lie. <laughs> now, time to enjoy. So, this is how you load a burger. First, no matter what brand it is, they're all pretty much the same. But you want to put a little glue on top. Mahal, that's empty. Wait. Your, your fresh sliced onion, tomato. Of course, you want to throw down a little bit of pickles. Whichever you prefer, and crunchy. Some, some lettuce, some fresh lettuce. Leaf ah. is my favorite, <laughs> and then you enjoy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Salud. Why are you so great? You did great.